Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at how to plot the frequency response of popular passive and active low pass filter circuits in PySpice. Recall that a low pass filter is a circuit that allows signals with a frequency lower than the cutoff frequency to pass and it attenuates signals with a frequency higher than the cutoff frequency. The cutoff frequency depends on the values of resistor and capacitor. For active filters which use op amp, we will use the popular 741 op amp model. Let us see how we can use Pi Spice to simulate the frequency response of low pass filter circuits. The easiest way to characterize the behavior of a low pass filter circuit is to find its transfer function. Recall from circuit theory that the transfer function tells you how the output of a circuit is related to the input as a function of frequency of the input signal. For first order low pass filter circuits, the transfer function can be expressed in this general form where A is the gain and FB is the break or the cutoff frequency. For passive low pass filter circuits, the gain is 1 since passive components cannot amplify the circuit. For active low pass filters, the gain can be set by choosing the resistor values. The break frequency is set by the value of R and C. The transfer function is a complex quantity having magnitude and phase. We are interested in the Bode magnitude plot, which is a graph of the magnitude of the transfer function in decibels versus frequency in the logarithmic scale, and the Bode phase plot, which is the graph of the phase of the transfer function versus frequency in logarithmic scale. In other videos in this channel, we have seen that we use the simulator dot operating point command when we want to simulate DC voltages and currents. We use the simulator dot transient command when we want to simulate time domain inputs and outputs. In this case, we specify the step time, the final simulation time, and any initial conditions. For frequency response in PySpice, we need to use the simulator.ac option. For this command, we need to specify the start and the stop frequencies. We need to specify the type of sweep, uh, decade in this case, as well as the number of points per decade. Note that these options for the simulator.ac command are the same as both PSPICE when we use the AC sweep option and LT spice when we use the AC analysis option. Please pause the video now if you wish to study this comparison in more detail. Selecting and calibrating the input source is necessary in order to simulate the frequency response correctly. Recall that in PSPICE, we use the VAC source and not the V sine source when simulating frequency response. In LT SPICE, we still use the independent voltage source, but we must set the AC amplitude to 1. In Pi SPICE, there is no special AC source that we need to use for frequency response. We still use the sinusoidal voltage source. The only thing to make sure is to set the amplitude to be 1 volt. This is necessary to give a calibrated transfer function at the output. PySpice has a built-in example that can be accessed here, which shows how to plot the frequency response of a passive low-pass filter. In this built-in example, we have standard declarations at the top. We define the circuit netlist using descriptive node labeling. Please refer to other videos in this channel if you need to review how to construct circuit netlist in PySpice. 
we invoke the simulator.ac command. For plotting the Bode diagram, the built-in example use, uses a Bode diagram helper function. Uh, this is imported here at the top. This then generates the magnitude and the phase Bode plots. This built-in example is a good starting point. However, it only calculates the theoretical break frequency, which is also marked on the plots. It does not calculate the theoretical transfer function. Also for plotting, we can use the inbuilt command in NumPy package for greater flexibility rather than using the built-in Bode diagram helper function. This is an improved version of the built-in example. This Python code is posted in the video description as well as the comments section below. We have standard declarations at the top. Note that there are some additional commands here. In particular, we import the semi-log x and cursor commands for plotting. We define the circuit netlist as before and invoke the simulator.ac command. In addition, we set the flag to plot the phase in degrees. If we set this to false, then the phase will be plotted in radians. We extract the frequency and the magnitude, Bode and phase values for plotting. By converting the frequency values into a NumPy array, we can also compute the theoretical Bode plot. Finally, these are the plotting commands. We use the semi-log x command for plotting. Also, depending upon the flag, we automatically label the Bode plot in degrees or radians. We use subplots for plotting the simulated and theoretical Bode plots. When we run this code, we obtain the Bode magnitude plot from both simulation and theory. For the simple passive RC filter circuit, these plots are identical, which is to be expected. In this code template, we can now change the circuit netlist and the theory part to get the frequency response of active filters. This is discussed next. Consider the active low pass filter with op amp in non inverting configuration. The values of the components are chosen such that the break frequency is 100 Hertz and the filter gain for low frequencies is 10. We include the 741 op amp model in the circuit netlist and define its path. Simulation of the 741 op amp in PySpice is discussed in detail in another video in this uh, channel and the link to the video will be provided at the end of this video. Using the descriptive node labeling, we can translate this circuit into a netlist as shown here. We can also program the theoretical transfer function as shown here. Please pause the video now if you wish to study this in more detail. When we run the code, we can obtain the frequency response of the filter, which is shown here. By looking at the values of the magnitude Bode plot, we can see that the filter provides a gain of 10 in linear, which is 20 dB at low frequencies. The break frequency is 100 Hertz, which is marked on the plots. The filter provides a an attenuation of minus 20 dB per decade at higher frequencies. At extremely high frequencies, the simulation result differs slightly from theory. This is to be expected and this is because of op amp frequency limitations.
Next, consider an active low pass filter with the op amp in inverting configuration. The values are chosen to give a break frequency of 10 Hz and a gain of minus 10. Using descriptive node labeling, we can easily translate the filter circuit into the netlist as shown here. And we can also program the gain, the theoretical transfer function as shown here. Please pause the video now if you wish to study the netlist and the, these commands in more detail. When we simulate this circuit in Python, we obtain the frequency response, which is shown here. The break frequency is 10 Hertz, which is marked on the plots. For frequencies less than 10 Hertz, the filter is providing a gain of gain magnitude of 10, which is 20 dB. For frequencies higher than 10 Hertz, the attenuation is minus 20 dB per decade. As before, at very high frequencies, the op amp frequency limitations lead to nonlinear behavior. And as a result, for very high frequencies, the, the simulation result differs from the theory result. Finally, let us consider the Salen key low pass filter circuit. This circuit uses the op amp in the non inverting configuration. However, it uses two sets of RC circuits. The analysis and design of Salen key low pass filter circuits is available in standard textbooks covering filter circuits. This is not discussed in this video and may be a topic of future videos. For this video, we consider the values shown here, which give a break frequency of 1.92 kHz. Similar to the circuits before, this Salen and key circuit can be easily translated into the netlist as shown here. The complete code is available in the video description and in the comments below. When we run the code, we get the frequency response, which is shown here. In this case, we can see that the magnitude Bode plot has a slope of minus 40 dB per decade in the high frequency re region. This is to, due to the two RC circuits being used. At very high frequencies, nonlinear response due to the op amp frequency limitations is also evident. Low pass filter circuits are a basic building block in realizing other types of filters, such as high pass, band pass, and band stop filters. The Python codes to simulate the four different low pass filters discussed in this video are available in the video description and in the comments section below. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any suggestions for video topics, please post them in the comments section. Thank you.